Hi everybody. The arch rival BMW follows Mercedes Benz wherever it goes, and vice versa. It shouldn't come as a surprise that BMW is introducing the all electric flagship luxury sedan known as the i7 following the introduction of Mercedes Electric S Class, the EQS. The gasoline powered Bimmer shares the same level of luxury as the electric version, which was developed in conjunction with the next generation of the 7 series. The i7 has two electric motors and a large battery pack to compete with the EQS and other high-end electric sedans like the Porsche Taycan and Tesla Model S. The 2023 BMW i7 still takes some risks, especially with its front-end design, which features split-element headlamps and grille intakes that are unusually large compared to other SUV concepts. The i7 is designed specifically for customers who want whisper quiet luxury transportation and those who intend to relax in the back while being chauffeured due to the combination of a number of technology features and luxurious materials inside. The flagship of BMW's expanding i sub brand of electric vehicles is the 2023 i7, a new nameplate. The all-wheel drive X-Drive 60 is BMW's only i7 model at this time, however, we anticipate a more sporty M Sport model in the future. The i7 is a luxury sedan that looks like a limousine and can be outfitted with the optional executive lounge package to pamper passengers in the rear seat, just like the gasoline-powered 7 Series. We'd recommend that package because it adds a lot of features that make up for the price, like massage inducing, plush electrically reclining rear seats. The brand's new EV SUV, the 9, has a similar electric powertrain setup for the i7, two electric motors, one for each axle, produce 536 horsepower. For such a large vehicle, Acceleration is quick thanks to all-wheel drive, which is standard. The i7X Drive 60 should reach 60 miles per hour in 4.1 seconds, according to our estimates. Although the i7's handling is surprising for a large sedan, buyers who want sports sedan handling will not be drawn to it. The lot to like about this vehicle, and during our first test drive, we were impressed by its quiet cabin and especially smooth ride. A gasoline-powered 7 Series is still available if you prefer it, we examine that model independently. Although the EPA has not yet provided an official estimate, BMW claims that the i7 should have a driving range of approximately 300 miles per charge. The car's large battery pack of 101.7 kWh can be connected to DC fast charging stations, and it is said to be able to add 80 miles of driving range in 10 minutes. Regarding charging, every new i7 from BMW comes with free 30-minute sessions at Electrify America charging stations for 3 years. The i7 should achieve up to 87 mpge in the city and 92 mpge on the highway according to the EPA. We haven't had a chance to put the i7 through its paces on our 75 miles per hour highway fuel economy test route yet, however, once we do, we will add test results to this story. Visit the EPA's website to learn more about the i7's fuel economy. The i7 and the gasoline-powered 7 Series share a spacious, luxurious, and upscale cabin because they were developed together. The i7 offers a plethora of high-tech convenience features in addition to the luxuries that set it apart from rivals like the Mercedes-Benz EQS and Tesla Model S. There is ample room in both the front and rear seats, and fine materials line every inch of the interior. If you select the executive lounge package, 
your passengers in the rear seats will have access to power adjustable reclining seats, a wireless charging pad for smartphones, and extra comfortable headrests. There is a lot of room in the trunk, but if you need to carry larger items, there is a handy pass-through feature in the rear seat. The i7 comes standard with the same warranty coverage as BMW's other electrified models, the 9 SUV and the i4 sedan. This means basic coverage for 4 years or 50,000 miles and more generous protection for the electric vehicle components. Available adaptive cruise control with a semi-autonomous driving mode. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment below and let us know what you thought of the video. We'll see you in the next one.